Hey guys, happy Friday, it's Mikey Chan. Have you ever heard of the Cave of Crystals? It's a cave located 2,625 feet within Mexico's Nica Mine, and it holds some of the largest crystals in the world. The beautiful gypsum crystals that lie within the cave are enormous, spanning up to 39 feet and weighing up to 61 tons. In fact, if you stand next to the crystals and you're sick, you're gonna look like a smurf. But what's most shocking about this cave isn't the size of the crystals themselves, but the fact that researchers have recently made an amazing discovery in the cave. They found that not only is the cave home to endless amounts of crystals, but it's also home to a brand new form of microbial life. This discovery, according to scientists, is groundbreaking and could change our understanding of biology forever. Now, before we get into the details, here's some history and information about the cave. The so-called Cave of Crystals was discovered in 2000 when two miners who, in pursuit of silver, drilled an excavation tunnel beneath Chihuahua and instead of Silver discovered rolls upon rolls of huge crystals. It was considered one of the greatest mineralogical discoveries of all time and it simply baffled the miners. As a result, they named the cave Cueva de los Cristales, or Cave of Crystals. And although this cave is beautiful, it is also very deadly. That's because the cave is very, very hot and the air temperatures hover around 136 degrees Fahrenheit with humidity values up to 99% due to the magma pool beneath the cave. And that's why the cave remains largely unexpected explored because, well, if you stay in there for more than 10 minutes, you're probably gonna die. Now back to the exciting findings. Recently, BBC News has reported that NASA microbiologists have found tiny microbes that are trapped inside the fluid regions of these behemoth crystals. These microbes are believed to be ancient and are up to 50,000 years old. And the most amazing part is they are a completely new form of life that has never been seen before. And if you're wondering how they're able to live in such a hot and humid environment, well, they're extreme files are able to tolerate harsh temperature conditions and are apparently able to use manganese, iron, and a few other metallic elements to produce nutrients needed to live. The researchers who discovered the microbes have already extracted them from crystals in order to test them and see if they are really alive. It has been confirmed that these microbes are indeed living creatures or super life. And according to Penelope Boston, the chief of NASA's Astrobiology Institute, it has been confirmed that these microbes are indeed living creatures or super life. Unfortunately, at this point, no further information has been given about this new discovery as all the data is still being withheld by NASA, which isn't surprising, consider all the other information they're probably holding in that place. Also, what's really interesting is that although we're making breakthroughs every single day, we're searching for life outside of our own planet, we should remember that we're just one species out of an estimated one trillion that's on this planet. And uh, guess how many we do not know, we haven't found yet. Yeah, over 99.99%. So those are all the different species, different forms of life that's still on this planet that either we haven't discovered or we aren't able to see them, which is just absolutely mind boggling. So theoretically, there could already be alien life on this planet and we don't even know. Anyway, something crazy to think about. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.